All right, YouTube, it's Ryan from Arcus Abba Touch Help again. And today, I'm going to show you how to SSH custom themes. Well, not necessarily you making them, but anything you get off the internet into your iPod. All right. It's a rather simple process, actually. Hold on. Let me get to the site here. All right, there are uh, multiple sites you can download themes from off the internet. I prefer this one. It's called www.themeiphone.com. Alright, they also have a good variety of wallpapers also. Alright, I'm going to show you what to do here. You can pick any theme that they have available. This site consists of like maybe what, 300 or something like that. I'm not completely sure, but alright. You're going to pick any one. Click on it. I'm not really down on this one. I'm just going to show you what to do. The entire, it'll give you a little picture of the home screen, what it's going to look like. Underneath it, it should say, click here to download this theme. Do so, and I recommend saving it to your desktop, because it's going to make it a whole lot easier. But if you want to save it in documents or something like that, go right ahead. Alright, so here's what you're going to do. Hold on. I already have a theme that I already like, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Alright, so what you're going to do here is you're going to go to the right column of your SSH, okay? In the meantime, if I, you guys know how to do this, uh, there's a video a little bit back that Kevin has made on how to SSH. You can watch that. It'll show you how to get this installed and how to run it, and then just follow my steps from here. But anyways, okay, you're going to go into the right-hand column, and up in the corner, next to the two blue arrows, or they might be blank, but anyways, the first little folder, I'm going to say parent directory if you uh, have your cursor over it. I'm going to click it one, two, three times, okay? Click it three times. And you're going to see all these folders. You're going to click on library, okay? After clicking on library, you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff. I want you to go down to themes. And you're going to see all of the themes that you have installed, or that come with it, rather. Okay, this is basically what's inside your winter board. You guys know that. Alright. Oh yeah, and if you guys don't have winter board, you have to get that, because that's vital to run your themes, as I'm sure all of you know. Okay, just go into Cydia and search winter board and download that, and you'll be good to go. If you guys don't already have that, sorry about that. Okay, so, since you're in your themes here, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to go to wherever you saved that thing that you downloaded off the computer, and uh, I save mine in my documents, so they always do. I'm going to go into that. Okay. And what you're going to do is, it should you should have titled it whatever you want. I've already gotten one that I like. It's called Black Label. You're going to drag it in there. Hold on. Drag it in there. And make sure you do not, hold on. Looks like I'm out of it there. I guess. Next one off the screen. Okay, you're going to drag it in there. And make sure you do not drag it into another folder. Make sure you drag it to the very bottom or very top. And there is an open space for it. Do not actually drop it into another folder. Alright, I've already dropped it, so I'm not going to do that. So you drop it in there. Okay. And your theme is set to go. Okay. That's all you need to do. Now, as for the wallpaper, which most themes have, which is your lock screen, if you guys don't know. Okay, that takes another step. So what you're going to do is go, not in the SSH area, you're going to go to where you saved it. Mine is in documents, as I said. It's right up here, black label. It should still be a folder. You're going to click on that, and it's going to give you everything that it comes with. Okay, if you guys can see. It comes with icons, doc, PNG. Alright, I can see if you click on icons, those are all the icons that come with mine. Kind of got that yellowish thing going on there. There's your dock. Alright. And wallpaper. Alright. Oh wait, I apologize guys, I already extracted the file, so it's not in here. Give me a second. That'll, that's actually what's going to be on the background, so give me a second. Alright, so I have extracted the wallpaper. This was what was originally under wallpaper. 
You might have two wallpaper files, sometimes you get interchanged between the actual background, between the icons, and the lock screen. Uh, so you can basically just pick whatever one you want, I guess. I chose this one. It's the yellow striding man for the black label. Do you guys see that? Okay, so I extracted it back into my documents. This is where I could access it through SSH. This so what you guys would do if it was still here, even though it's not. You're just going to click copy. Go back to your documents, wherever you saved it. Click paste. Okay, simple as that. So, then you're going to go back to your SSH. Okay. Now you're going to want to exit your themes here in the iPod section. So you're going to click that back folder that you originally clicked. Put it back one time. And you're going to see wallpaper underneath themes. Click that. Here's all your wallpapers. Okay. All of them. Even the ones that are already programmed into the iPod. Okay. So you're going to go into your left hand column. Okay. It should be .png, the wallpaper that you uh, had because it is a PNG file. So it won't be in a folder. It'll just be a plain old uh, icon. You're going to drag it to the very bottom as you did with the folder and drop it. I've already done so, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Okay. Uh, you want to click refresh as you always do after you're done doing something. All right. You can close out of it now. You're done with it. What you're going to do is go to your iPod here. Show you. You want to go into the winter board that you have already had installed or you just downloaded because I told you to. Okay, it should be a little snowflake if you guys are new to this. Alright, it's going to bring up all of your themes. You guys, I'm going to turn on the brightness really quick. Give me a second, guys. Alright, so it's a little snowflake icon if you guys are new to this, Winterboard. Gonna click that. Alright, it's gonna give you all the themes that are in Winterboard. When you first get it, you should just have a couple. It'll say stuff like transparent dock and stuff anyways. The newest ones you add should be at the top. Okay. So you're gonna search for whatever one you dropped in. Mine it was called Black Label, as I told you. Okay, so you're gonna click on it until you see the little blue check mark next to it. Okay, you're gonna click black label. Or whatever app you whatever theme you downloaded, sorry. You're gonna back out to the home screen. It will refresh. I didn't install anything, so that's why. And your theme should be good to go. Okay. Now when I first did this I didn't have a wallpaper or lock screen as it's known. I do currently now, but also you gotta get this. Now if you SSH the wallpaper missed there from the computer as I told you to, you wanna go into settings, okay? So this is after you have your theme installed and everything, all right? Go on to general wallpaper right there, and then you'll save photos and wallpaper. You're going to click on wallpaper because that's where you put it. Scroll down to the bottom of that, and there's my little yellow striding man. If you guys can see that, okay? So basically, it programs that wallpaper into the wallpaper section of your settings. Okay? Click on it. See, it's right there. Hit set wallpaper. Back out. It'll probably respring. There you installed it. Alright. Go to your lock screen. It should be there. Alright. As I always say, if you guys have any questions, I'm glad to help. Uh, please leave a comment or message me. And I'll try to get back to you. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. If you guys want that want if you guys want this theme, it's at the site that I showed you in the beginning, themeiphone.com. I highly recommend that site. They have a lot. Okay, they're all good. So, yeah, go there and check it out. And uh, please subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks, guys.